can you go through maybe some of the drills that you brought with you that you guys have been going through? Oh, man. We, I mean, we got a lot of, I mean, everything that I do translates to the game. I'm not out there exercising, but there's things I've picked up from other coaches, people on the Internet, whatever. I mean, if I, if I like it and I think it can help us, I'm not afraid to use it. And the guys seem to be receptive to it as well from what you've gathered. They're totally receptive. The group has been awesome. I mean, they're still, they're, they're eager to learn. They've been very, you know, welcomed me with open arms in terms of the new ideas that I've brought, and they've bought in full, uh, full speed. I couldn't ask for anything more in that regard. Now, we still got a long ways to go, but, you know, like we say each and every day, if we just get a little bit better and a little bit better and a little bit better, a little bit better, you know, that's what it's all about. And guys are working. Uh, it's a process. And uh, so far, I'm pleased with, with the process, the work that they're putting in and, and retaining, because we're throwing it all at them to see who can, who can handle it, what'll stick and what won't stick. And, uh, you know, as a coach, uh, all you can ask for is the guys to give you everything they've got. And, and these guys, you know, have the mindset to do that. So uh, as far as that's concerned, I, I've been pleased with that. Do, do you have to have a clear-cut number two receiver, or can you just have a bunch of guys who who give what they can give and you can sort of piece it together from, from there. I, I, I've never been one of those guys that said you got to have a number one or a number two. You know, you got guys that can do a lot of different things. One guy may be able to do something better than the, than the other. Uh, so I, I've never been one of those guys that says you got to have a clear cut uh, guy. You just got to have guys that can go out there and run your system and make plays when the opportunity comes. And that's kind of how I've always approached it. Well, I guess my philosophy would be what Randy Finkner wants to run. You know, how he sees things, the way I'm going I'm to do it. You know, and I try to make it easy for him. He, want, he's, he has certain plays he likes, and you know what, I'm going to like him too. I'm going to make him work. You mentioned that it's an easier transition because you have been with these guys for so long. Is it easier too because there's so many experienced and just older guys? I mean, I think Ramon's probably only two or three years younger yeah. than you maybe, right? Yeah. You know, those guys, um, those guys, you know, in that room, they make it easy because they're good at what they do. And, you know, and they, they, we're in that room every day. They know we're in it together. It's just not somebody in there leading them. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna push them that way, but they all got their opinions, and I, I let them voice their opinions at times. You know, and then and then we'll we'll make a final judgment on what we're gonna do. In all seriousness, we got a lot of prospects. We really do. Our draft I thought was outstanding. We got a lot of guys. They lack experience, but they have the ability and the talent level to help us. And it's my job to coach them and teach them. It's their job to learn it. It's their job to you know learn the skill level and things like that. And we got a lot of guys in that draft that we expect to be of help. Yes. Does Johnson excite you as a he does. You know, I studied him a lot. I liked him a lot. I, I, I put together tape on him. Uh, we discussed him in the draft in that fashion. I went over to Toledo to visit with him and meet him. Uh, I spent a lot of time with him. Uh, he, he's a good player. He, he's a real good player. And uh, we'll see, you know, how he handles all this, you know, at the next level. But he's a very good player. He's rare. He's special. Uh, he embraces it. Uh, he is a little bit different in, in a great way, in a good way. Uh, I've had some guys that have uh, an extent of that kind of spirit, uh, but he is, he is by far, you know, the class, you know, he's at the top of that, you know, with how he approaches things, how he approaches life. And uh, I think he really has a true the perspective, the right perspective on it. He goes out and has fun uh, in the community. He loves kids. He loves people. And that's what makes him special. You know, he, he's a special guy. He really is.